All right, hello all. It's the Sivart here with another starter tutorial. So this is once again, hopefully, um, geared towards those who don't really know anything about code, or at least very little about it in Game Maker. And this is to hopefully teach you how to do some simple stuff with Game Maker and 3D. So in the last one, I kind of showed you guys how to do pretty much what I have here. You just have a camera fixated on a certain point and then you can draw your floor and you can draw a few um, objects there. Now in the last one I drew some boxes and uh, I believe a circle but I know it's very simple but anyway I just used the same thing and made these cylinders instead. So in this one however I'm gonna be hopefully um, gonna be teaching you everything you, sh you need to know about the camera like this this actual thing here because um, like say you want to make an FPS game. Let's 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 try to do that. So I'll show you what I have so far, even though it's pretty much the same thing as I have in the other tutorial. Uh, got a couple textures here. Remember to to check that box used for 3D. Very important. And then we have two objects. Object control. This is our camera object. So in the creation event, it's just D3D start. Very simple. Just a piece of code. D3D start. So now we draw the camera. So D3 set projection, okay? And then we stick X, Y, and then the Z is 10, and then X, Y, and then Y plus 10. That way that I'm looking at something 10 pixels away. And then once again, the Z is 10, so I'm looking straight out. And then 0, 0, 001 for the last variables. And then for drawing the floor, it's this simple script here. Once again, fairly easy, just drawing floor exactly the size of my room here and then all these little dots are the objects and then object thing very simple just I, I like to before I draw anything I like to set the color to white because default for game maker is black so if you don't set it to white at least at some point in your game then it's gonna be black and you're gonna wonder why so yeah I mean, I explained this all in the last start of tutorial, so I'm going to give you guys a link to that tutorial just to make sure you watch that first, because otherwise this may be a bit confusing. So now we're going to start with the FPS camera bit of it. So first we need to initialize some variable. This is back in object control. So the different variables we're, go we're going to want to have are um, cam x, let's have it zero. Um, y cam z. Okay, so what these variables will do are these going to be the variables that we're going to look towards. So since we're on first person view, then the camera from, right, because we always have those two points look where we're looking from and where we're looking towards. So we're going to want these variables to be the ones that we are looking towards. So now that I've created those, now in camera, I can set here um, instead of what I have. Right? Let me just quickly go. Cam X, Cam Y. Oopsies. And not the 10 bit. Okay. Now I have full control of where the camera is looking without having to mess with these variable or with this piece of code right here, which is very nice. So right away, I think I want, um, yeah, I need, I need to set it now. So in step event, this is where the interesting stuff will happen. I'll put another piece of script in here. So this is where I will edit what those variables do. Oh, wait. I would like to create one more variable before we start with that. Z direction. Because we are going to want to be looking up and down as well as side to side. All right, so there we have it. Let us do this. So back in step event, here we go. So we have to we have to mess with our direction first because we're gonna be we're gonna be changing our direction and our z direction, and then we're gonna be using lengther to convert that into the cam x, cam y, cam z. Okay. So first thing we need to do is well, like I mean we're gonna be doing with this with this with the mouse. If you want to use the keyboard to turn around, you can, but that's not really good FPS experience. So, there we go. Display mouse set. So, here we go. 
So this this code right here, we'll set it in the middle of the screen. Well, it'll set it wherever I want it to with this X and Y. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get um, there we go, display get width, and then divide by two. That should hopefully put it directly in the center of the monitor of the user. Display. There we go. So now this will freeze it in. Now I want to do this though after all my other scripts. Otherwise, it's going to set it to the exact middle and then check. And that's what we don't want. Okay. Um, it's okay, so let's set direction here. So direction is already an initialized variable, so you don't have to worry about that. So we're going to plus equal on the direction. Uh, display mouse get. So this will get the x position of the mouse within this function, this this setting here. So, um, but the problem is that we set the mouse into the middle of the screen, not the corner. So this is going to have to be display mouse get x um, minus display get width divided by two. That way, it's actually the difference between where the mouse is starting from. So, anyway, it, 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 sh it works. That's, that's pretty much all I can say. So, that works. Now let's do the same thing, but with Z direction. There we go. Oh, I'll just quickly add the... Uh... There we go. So now, Z direction display mouse get Y because the Y is always up and down and then height whoopsies there we go so this right away will set my directions but it won't change my camera yet so here's where the cam X cam Y comes in thing comes in so cam whoopsies cam X equals uh, length there so what is length dirt, you may ask? Well, it is GameMaker's method for converting a direction into two points. Okay? So th there's a mathematical way of doing it as well, but this is the quick and easy function that'll do it right for you. So we pick the length. So this is how far away from zero we want this uh, point to be. So I'm going to say 10 because I'm kind of having it um, with a 10 pixel radius around me. So we have 10 and then we have direction. There we go. So now it'll be looking at direction, but this is only for one variable. So once you do it, the same thing to cam y, just with the length to y instead of the length to x, then this will adequately, or like accurately, allow you to move around or like look towards your direction so and then as far as cam z right now we'll just have it equal straight out z direction okay so now we shall see how this works okay so right around I have my mouse alright I'm able to look up and down fairly well, but I am looking over there into the distance. This is because, uh oh, there we go. Huh. Forgot to add the escape event. I'll just quickly do that, that way I don't get stuck in there again. Um, other, escape. It's kind of annoying, um, Game Maker Studio doesn't automatically come with this pressing escape will end the game, which is kind of annoying when you're freezing the mouse. So. Be sure to do this because it's very important. Okay. <laughs> um, so what we forgot to do, why I was just looking off into the corner and I couldn't look anywhere else, is because I forgot to add the X plus and the Y plus. Because see, that would mean that I am looking, um, orbiting the zero axis, but I'm not at the zero axis. I'm way over here. So all I have to do is X plus and Y plus and finally E plus or rather actually I don't have to see so I'll go 10 so there we go this should hopefully keep my camera orbiting around myself and not 
zero. Ah, uh, K then. So apparently I go up and down way too fast. Oh my. <laughs> okay, so let's just add a zero onto these tens here. So this way the point that I'm looking at is further away, meaning that we don't have this up and down thing so much. I mean, we still have it, but not as much. So right away I notice something. Everything is inverted. And I don't like that very much. So instead of plus on these directions, I'm going to add minus. And then I'm going to, at the end of it all, I'm, like I put the whole thing in brackets that I could go divided by 5 and divided by 3. This way uh, you, you won't be moving the camera as fast. So it makes for a better experience. So there we go. This is more the FPS controls you're used to, right? Just plain old fashioned, you know. Yeah. So this is this is this is FPS controls at its finest. <laughs> but you're gonna probably want to move, and you can't move the same way that you would move before. Like uh, you can't just go, you know, move left, move right. No, that doesn't work. You have to have. Um, you're gonna have to set speed instead. So here's how we do it. We go if oopsies keyboard check up there we go so if I'm holding down the up the up key then I want speed equal to five okay so what what speed is is in game maker we have direction and then we have speed speed is one of those set variables that are that are just automatic with every object and what speed will do is, is it will move your object, your x and y variables, towards uh, direction, like in the direction of direction, uh, at the speed of whatever you set it to. So it's just kind of a nice handy built-in feature. You can use um, you, you can use your own like uh, method for doing it, but it's just kind of nice to have it built in. So, but if we don't have keyboard check up, then speed equals zero. There we go. So now we should hopefully be able to move, which is a really nice thing to be able to do. And I can. I can now move around. So it, as you can see, it doesn't take a whole lot of code or even a whole lot of knowledge to make a simple FPS game already, right?